I've already shuffled and I also put two oracle cards for your recent past. Then we'll go through the present time. How your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why this is all happening. So, Gemini, in the recent past we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And we also have trust. Now on the flip side of this card it reads, The more we follow our intuition, the more we find that the right doors open to assist us in fulfilling our life's purpose. So in the recent past you could have been in a relationship or a commitment that was going to to um, a higher phase to uh, another level um, and it would it would have required trust and you need to follow your intuition in this connection and you would have just had to know that the the right doors they were opening to assist you in this new step or new stage in your relationship or your life. So trust because you had a situation or a relationship that was taking off to new levels and you needed that and you knew it was important because if you didn't have trust in the connection then it probably would not evolve and it probably would not ascend to a new level. So that's what I have for you for the recent past. Now let's move on over and take a look at the present time. We have the Two of Cups and it's paired with the Page of Cups. So this is for the present time. I hope I said that. Two of Cups and Page of Cups. So now the Two of Cups for your present time, it often refers to romantic partnerships. Now. Um, but keep in mind, it's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This card, it says that things are going pretty well. Pretty well with this uh, Two of Cups. Um, you should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. When you're asking about relationships and love and you get this Two of Cups, this card, it represents true love. It's balance. It's a partnership. It's, there's commitment there. Basically, all the things that most of us hope for in regards to love and relationships. However, this does not mean that you can just say or do whatever and that the relationship is going to last. It only means that the real solid potential for true love and affection is there. So, if you're looking for love and you're single at this time, Gemini, this is a sign, this is a signal that it's very likely to be headed your way soon. Okay, so that's the Two of Cups and it's paired with the Page of Cups. Now the Page of Cups, it shows, as you can see in the picture, there's a need to play, dream, and have fun. Um, these people are turning up the bottle, they're hanging loose at the park. That's what it's saying it's time for you to do. Okay, so, um, yeah, you need to have some fun, Geminis. For some reason, it's, it's saying that uh, with this Page of Cups, that you could be taking, um, well, it's, it's about knowing the difference between taking your work seriously and taking yourself serious, seriously. Now, the first is imperative. The first is important to take your, well, the first is imperative, um, taking your work seriously. And taking yourself seriously is a disaster. It's about knowing the difference. And when we're talking about relationships and love and you get this page of cups, it could be about a younger person by maybe a few days. Or it could be lo much longer, much older, I mean much younger, much younger or maybe just by a few days. Um, this younger person could be a part of your love scenario. Just remember love, it doesn't know age, so don't discount people 
who are younger than you purely on that basis. This card in the context of love can mean that someone could be about to sweep you off your feet. So you need to give them a chance, even if they're younger than you. That's the Page of Cups. Now, with the Two of Cups paired with this card, for your present time, it's basically saying that uh, Two of Cups, there's a, great, there's a great love for someone. Or either you're in a connection or there's a, a connection or relationship coming towards you that's going to be pretty much... Um, top of the line when it comes to love. Like I said, it's the type of love that we all hope to find in a lifetime. And some people never do. But it's it's there for you at this time. Or like I said, it's coming in. It's coming in for you. It's a beautiful harmony. It's a it's like that twin flame union. It's um it's a great, great connection. Very romantic love. It could even lead to prop proposal or marriage if you're already with someone. And it's with this page of cups, so it's just reminding you to um, to play, to dream, and um, have fun at this time. Because um, you don't want to make a mistake and be too serious when this um, two of cups comes around to you. Because... Um, you might miss out on the fun side of this great harmony, this great union, um, because it's pretty much everything. It's a full circle type of love. And um, just remember to relax and um, don't hold back when it comes in because it's a beautiful thing. So go, ahead, go right ahead and dream and have fun with this new love or this this wonderful love that's about to come in. And that's what we show for the present time. Now, let's move on down and take a look at how they see you. The person that you're dealing with, how they see you. They see you as a hierophant, and also they see you as a five of cups. Now, to explain the hierophant, it's about searching for the meaning of life, and being considered to be a great loyal friend. When this type of person is called on for advice or help with some important matters, their intelligence and empathy puts them in a position to provide tremendous support. So, Geminis, this could be you or someone coming towards you or someone you know. They'll be quick-witted, well-educated, a wise teacher marked by integrity. Quite frankly, they're the genuine article, a true blue. They're highly admired individuals. They walk the walk, and they talk the talk, and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. Now, when this hierophant talks about love and relationships, if you're asking about how your current partner is feeling, just know that they love you very deeply, and it's a love that cannot be broken. So, this is how the person that you're dealing with, they, that's just, this is how they see you in the connection. Okay? And it's paired with the Five of Cups. Now, the Five of Cups, when it's about um, relationships, you may have just ended or may be about to start the process of ending a relationship. But you must realize that all is not lost. You're probably not ready to move on to a new relationship. So give yourself some time and space, then get back out there. There will come a day when you realize that the reason this relationship ended was to get you to a place where you really want it to be, which is in a relationship that works for you and works well. So they're seeing you as this higher front, moral, moral, ethical, probably traditional, 
And they, they also see you as, like I said, walking the walk and talking the talk. You stand firm in what you believe. That's how they see you, and it's paired with this Five of Cups. So they, they see you as, as probably walking away from this connection. Yeah, they see you as having some type of grief about this connection. They could, they could see you as feeling abandoned or not as loved in the connection as you would as you would have liked. But they see you as very traditional type of person. Well, for some reason, they see you as maybe just wanting to walk away. So that's what we have for how they see you, the Five of Cups and the Hierophant. Now let's move on down and take a look at how you see them. So you see them as the Hermit, and you also see them as the Four of Pentacles. Now the Hermit is a, is a very spiritual card, and it can often have something to do with institutions or large organizations. Everything from a bank to an entire church, Christian church. Just like the strength card, you could be even more in the frame of mind that you need some time alone. So don't, don't hesitate to take it if that's what you feel you need. Don't be afraid to take it. Even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is also a card about possibly trying really hard to do the right thing. Just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. Now when this hermit card talks about relationships and love, it's possible that a romance from your past could be rekindled. You're going to have to ask yourself, is this what you really want? It seems that romantic relationships, they're not a priority for you at this time. If your head says that you want nothing more than a romantic relationship, try to take a look at your behavior. Does it align with that analysis? That's what you should ask. In a committed relationship, you might have been moving in different directions for a while, just make sure the time and effort to stay connected is put in in order to keep, in order to keep the sparks alive. So you see the person that you're dealing with in this connection as needing some time alone, possibly trying to get rid of some baggage, clear their mind, um, yeah, you see them as this hermit card. And it is paired with this Four of Pentacles. Now the Four of Pentacles is about fear, basically when it comes to love. Either you're holding on too tight to a situation or a lover, or someone is attempting to do that to you, this clinging. Clinging is not healthy. True love allows for space between lovers and no matter what, one can never really control another person. And if you're single, Gemini's, and think that you're ready for a relationship, just realize that you will undoubtedly have to step outside of your comfort zone to make it happen at this time. Because true love is not going to drop out of the sky. It just doesn't do that. So, back to how you see them. How you see the person that you're dealing with in this connection. Like I said, the hermit. You see them as a hermit. They want to be alone. Uh, they could have a lot of things going on that's having their mind cloudy or things seem foggy to them. Maybe it could be about this connection. So 
you, you see them as needing to clear their head and release some of the baggage that they probably have about this connection or maybe about something else. But it's paired with this Four of Pentacles. So there's some fear here. You see them, you're thinking that they're fearing this, this connection. Yeah, if that's what you're thinking with this Four of Pentacles. They're afraid of the connection, and that's why they want to be alone. So, you're thinking that they're holding back. Yeah, you're thinking they're holding back on this connection, and that's why their their mind is foggy, and they they need time alone. Or either uh, you're thinking that they're too clingy. They're holding on too tight to this connection. They're too clingy. And they're probably doing it out of fear. Fear of this, this connection. So they're attempting to just hold, cling on to it in an unhealthy way in a very unhealthy way. So that's what you see them doing. And like I said, you also see them as this hermit. So that's what we have for how you see them. Now let's move on over to why this is all happening. We have the Three of Swords and it's with the King of Pentacles. Now the Three of Swords, there could be an element of sorrow that's undeniable at this time. But what's what lies on the other side of sorrow, of this sorrow, of the Three of Swords? It can be enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or pain that comes up now so that you can move beyond it. This card also points to some possible deep emotional issues that, that really need to be addressed before you can move on. If you deny any pain that will not, it won't make it go away if you deny any pain um, any more than it does if you deny a broken leg and pretend that it's healed. So you need to allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up now, but make sure you don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, only you're the one who can decide how long is long enough, and others can't do this for you. When we're talking about love and relationships, and you get the Three of Swords, now, um, it's not the, it doesn't mean it's the end of a relationship, but it does almost always point to relationship difficulty and pain. In order for the relationship to survive both parties, they must be willing to work on it and talk about the relationship. You could find that someone you thought cared about you is not as loving, is not, is not as loving as you had supposed. So don't take it too personally or dwell on it too long, if this is the case. You're also being guided to a relationship that's right for you. You cannot force someone or something to be right. So this is all happening. Why this is all happening is because of the Three of Swords. There's um, some sadness in this connection. Um, someone could be having some deep emotional issues that needs to be addressed before this connection can continue. So, someone could be shutting someone out or both of you could be shutting down. There are some relationship difficulties in this connection. Um, like I said, it could be because of some deep personal issues. And if you deny it, it, it just won't go away. You have to work on the on the issues. And it's paired with this King of Pentacles. Now, the 
king of pentacles when it comes to relationship and love it's a really good card in the tarot in regards to love someone could come along and absolutely 100 percent sweep you right off your feet so try to put your best foot out there put your best foot forward but don't pretend to be someone that you're not because this person that comes along they're gonna love you exactly for who you are so be honest with everything and all and everything should fall in place because they're gonna love you for exactly who you are if you're currently involved with someone and you get this king of pinnacles the relationship may well move into a more comfortable place. But if you're dissatisfied, you need to say so for things to change. Don't expect your lover to reach your mind. Don't expect your partner, the person you're dealing with, don't expect them to read your mind. So it's all happening because, once again, because of sorrow, somebody's got some deep emotional issues, so it's causing a lot of sadness in this connection and somebody's shutting down someone in this connection feels like shutting down so it's causing relationship difficulties and with this king of pentacles uh there's someone that could be coming coming along to sweep someone off their feet whether it's you your your person Someone is maybe in the background of this connection. Some type of third party that's trying to sweep either you or your person off their feet. Or it could be that the person that you're dealing with wants to try to sweep you off your feet just to turn things around. So it could go either way. But... Um, This, this King of Pentacles is about someone loving you for who you are. So I'm picking up, we did talk about a past person, didn't we? We sure did. Someone from the past could be coming back in to this connection for you or your person. Trying to sweep you or your person off, off their feet. Whoever's got this past person that wants in on this reading. Because we talked about the past person um earlier and now we're talking about someone trying to sweep you off your feet so either this past person is coming back for you or your person and they're they're trying to get you back or the person that you're dealing with this hermit they're trying to turn themselves around and and sweep you off your feet so that the connection can get back to where it should be but it could I'm feeling it could go either way because we got this past person in here pretty pretty strong so that's why it's all happening and that's what I have for you today Gemini I hope you enjoyed this reading there's going to be a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. Keep in mind, if I don't get a chance to do the extended, there's always a link below for personal readings. So keep that in mind. And I just, I just want to say, I thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. Also, I'm hoping that you're enjoying 2020 and I hope that you have a great day. Thank you so very much for watching.